News from around the region and from around the state. This is a Florida Focus News. Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Aldo Puccini. A Largo man is dead after losing control of his motorcycle. It happened early this morning on I-275 in Tampa. Florida Highway Patrol says the man crashed into a guardrail. The impact ejected him from his motorcycle and propelled him off the overpass. He died at the scene. Troopers say alcohol was not a factor in the crash. Mayor of Port Ritchie is arrested for shooting at deputies. Mayor Dale Massai was accused of practicing medicine without a license. SWAT team members attempted to serve a search warrant early this morning. According to police, Massad fired two shots toward deputies. No one was injured and Massad was arrested. Tampa police are investigating a series of threats after hackers took over Mayor Bob Buckhorn's Twitter account. Patrick Blunt tells us more. Early this morning, a series of offensive tweets popped up on Mayor Buckhorn's account. Tweets included racist and pornographic posts. Hackers even made a bomb threat against Tampa International Airport. The airport says there is no evidence of a bomb on site. The mayor's office is now working with law enforcement to investigate the hack. Reporting for Florida Focus, I'm Patrick Bluck. Hillsborough County Commissioners are moving forward with a plan to repave Bay to Bay Boulevard. This is by an appeal by a parents group to delay the project. They ask commissioners to revisit a plan drafted by city engineers. The area saw at least 17 crashes in the past year. Commissioners voted yesterday to move forward with the repaving project. Governor Ron DeSantis wants to bring cheaper prescriptions to Florida. His plan is to create a program to import Canadian drugs. The federal government would ultimately decide whether to approve the program. DeSantis says the state of Florida and its residents would save money. Last year, Vermont became the first state in the U.S. to develop its own prescription drug importation law. That's all we have for Florida Focus. Thank you for watching.